Hi everyone, I'm Dana Durnford, also known as the Nuclear Proctologist.org, and you can find my videos and Fukushima presentations throughout the internet and sometimes at live stream. This morning our live stream got cancelled on us, it wouldn't link up, and when I went back to it, it's gone off my site. And that was uh, nuclear stockholders, Canadian nuclear stockholders are mass murderers, are just mass murderers. Um, and of course the stock market is trillions and trillions on uranium and so we appreciate everybody hanging it down and trying their best to figure out what the hell happened here this morning hi Albert, Rattleshark, Shani Kent, Kate, thank you Kate by the way and uh, Nova and so we're off to a kind of a weird start and I anticipated I would get problems because of the headline that I put up in my video last night. I changed this morning's headline to Canadian uranium stockholders, mass murderers, and a different picture. So people, if they're still trying to get on this live stream, they might see it, hopefully. And so they don't like that, obviously. That wasn't no accident this morning, okay? That's not how this works. The live stream's been around for a very long time. They got the kinks out of it. They got a real platform there. And we got real equipment we're using. And that we've been doing this each day now for a week. And we got the kinks out of that system. We never done anything extra, nothing different. And my stream is completely gone. Disappeared out of my portfolios of streams here. The one I tried to do this morning. Gone. Erased. And so... You know, if they were trying to upset the momentum or, or get it out, change the context of it by doing that to us, I guess they succeeded. And so I'm going to have a cigarette. There's Mine don't have 7,000 chemicals in it. Try not to swallow your tongue and have a seizure. The CNTs. Now, your typical cigarette got 7,000 chemicals. Mine don't. I'm a little bit stressed out. Hi, Amters. Amthurst had all she can do. Deb had all she can do to find us. I can't sew, Deb, because we just started up a new stream. And we have no choice but to get on with it. Uh, hi, Lewis. Thank you. Alex, morning. And so, that's pretty upsetting that we, we can't do a, a stream without all kinds of issues. I mean, the fact that I got arrested a couple of weeks ago on trumped up charges and the media accused me of death threats when I'm charged with criminal harassment and nuclear puke should tell you something. Why did all the media in Canada demonize me over that? Why did they claim it was death threats when it's just criminal harassment that doesn't have a leg to stand on? And why did they destroy nine computers that we have over the last year and a half? Why was I demonized on the Fukushima Expeditions for Life, etc., 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 right? Um, and so, we got the stream up and running. We got the stream up and running. Let me get rid of the extra stream I got going here before that interferes with the stream I got. I'll just get rid of the Adobe on... On my other computer, everything has changed on me here this morning. Adobe Flash it takes us five minutes to get up and running. Anybody's not familiar with that? Um, let me say hi to everybody for a second. And hi everybody, uh, Mickey. Thank you. Yeah, good job, Kate. And Kate, yeah, they're messing with everybody, Kate for sure. Joe, Shani can. Rattle Shark, Albert, Amthurst, Mickey, hey buddy, yeah, I know it did, Shani Gens, Elaine, Alex, Amthurst, Lewis, Rattle Shark, anybody I miss, okay, that's because our stream got screwed up, we had to move it over to another stream, Great. that's shocking that we had to do that, but, I got a really good show. That's probably why. <laughs> okay, so let's talk for one second about nuclear fallout. 
So areas of the continental United States crossed by three or more nuclear clouds from above ground detonation. So each one of those lines is three or more clouds from detonations. But yet they were worried Russia would do that to you. But at the same time, they done that to you with the nuclear fallout. And at the same time, they had dumps throughout the sites or throughout the country. And these numbers are in tons. These are all hemorrhaging into your communities, into your counties, into your estuaries, lakes and rivers and everything else. And it's just a culture of these people. Um, why is there such strong opposition to nuclear power? Now, you're going to be watching, uh, I forget his name already, hang on, James Hansen, Dr. James Hansen. And Dr. James Hansen, now this video I'm going to play for you, I just got to get my headphones in. He's going to say Three Mile Island was equal to uh, getting on an airplane flying across the country. That's two years ago. Now, this man was down at COPS 21, and he advocates... He advocates carbon taxes uh, at increments each year for the next 10 years in order to kill coal and oil and everything else. And then claims car nuclear is carbon free, right? Well, carbon free nuclear just kill the Pacific Ocean. But let's play this little video clip so you can hear his own words from two years ago. There are multiple reasons, I think, why um, there's opposition to nuclear power plants. Nuclear energy is harder for people to understand, the idea of radiation. I mean, radiation is natural. The Earth is bombarded by radiation all the time. So the radiation that was released, for example, in Three Mile Island, the, that exposed the accident at Three Mile Island in Pennsylvania, exposed uh, residents nearby to radiation, um, which is equivalent to the amount of radiation that you get by flying in, in a commercial aircraft across the continent and back. Okay. Three Mile Island, the stuff that comes out of there, has extra electrons attached to it from the, the bombardment of neutrons. And so how can that be like an airplane? He knows that's a lie. If I had let the video play for another couple of seconds, you would have seen a big stupid smile on his face when he finished saying it. And so what he done there is an outrageous lie. This is the same guy who's down at COP21 climate uh, meeting of this death cult. These are a death cult. If you don't understand that, I'm going to walk you through what a death cult actually is. A death cult is nuclear. Use nuclear fuel rods. And so you'll see pictures showing up in my back window. That's because I haven't figured out how to make that stationary. So don't worry about that. Let's keep going. Australian professor global warming deniers should be sentenced to death. Should be sentenced to death. That's okay though, right? That's fine for him to say that. Is that all right? Because he still got his job. <laughs> One massive container ship equals 50 million cars. So everything is going to change here back and forth. Um, just give me one second. Let me move my picture over a little tiny bit. And hopefully that helps everybody. If not, sue me. So one massive container ship equals 50 million cars. Think about that. There's 90,000 of them out there to the mat times 50 million. That's 42 trillion people driving automobiles all day, every day, 24 hours a day on our planet. But that's nothing compared to nuclear. That's irrelevant compared to nuclear. It's not irrelevant, but it's irrelevant compared to what nuclear had done. It's irrelevant to what nuclear had done there. It's irrelevant to what nuclear got done there. It's irrelevant to what nuclear has done here. So in every context, it's irrelevant to nuclear because nuclear never goes away. Everything on the planet is acclimated to that kind of pollution in one sense. They know the elements, the bodies used to it, it has natural defenses and, and if you move out of, the, out of the contaminated area you'll be fine. But if you're at a nuclear accident, you move out, you carry that in your body with you till the end of time. CEO wants to raise retirement age to 70. This is a corporation, a company that don't care about you. 
Climate alarm is called for burning down skeptics' homes. So if you're skeptical of what anything they say, then it's okay for them to come out and say we should burn down your homes. But me saying we got to hang people legally by changing the laws makes me a terrible person, demonized throughout the media in Canada. For them to do it, no one cares. Just the alternative media wrote it. Climate change skepticism, a sickness that must be treated, says Professor. Does that look like a professor? Not that, what, what should a professor look like doesn't matter. But the, I'm talking about the words, not the picture. Climate change skepticism, a sickness that must be treated. How can skepticism be a sickness? Then everything else that skepticism should be treated? Maybe someone should treat that person. Climate Fund seeks UN-style diplomatic immunity. So they want diplomatic immunity but the gulag, death sentences, and burn down your homes. For you. Death threats anyone? Australian professor, global warming deniers should be sentenced to death. Right? You put a suit and a tie on a mass murderer, there's still a mass murderer. And you give them a position at an institution, there's still a mass murderer. Disability rights, Colin Brewer, Cornwall counselor, says disabled children should be put down. So Stephen Hawkins should be put down? He was a child once. In many senses, he's still a child today, and he admit that. But to put down disabled children, do you got any idea what kind of demented world that one comes from? That's pro-nuclear. Everything I'm showing you is pro-nuclear. All these people are pro-nuclear, and they want to kill you because you don't like nuclear because it's killed the Pacific and everything else. Edible vaccine inventor jokes about calling the population. Well, it, that, that's a polite way, uh, polite headline, because he's not joking. Environmental magazine advocates war crime trials for global warming skeptics. But how many of them has talked about four melted reactors in a proper context? How many of them has talked about the 50 million ships on the ocean in context? How many of them talks about the military industrial machine up close to the ozone layer and all the rockets they're putting up they're destroying it. None. Eugenics movements call for eco-dictatorship under UN rule. Global warming, global warming author says barcode everyone at birth except for them. Do you got any idea that these are all pro-nuclear people? Every one of these are pro-nuclear nut jobs. Global warming, the chilling effect on free speech. Yeah, because they'll burn your house down, put you in gulags, re-educate you in camps, lock you up forever, or just execute, execute you. Why, you don't believe all the headlines I'm showing you? Japan should let elderly, elderly hurry up and die. Finance minister. I'm just about to go into a tantrum that time. Caught myself early. Not that I'm proud of that, but I caught myself. I'd rather go into a tantrum than listen to the nonsense from these freaks. Oxford professor says genetically altering unborn baby personalities and moral obligation. These are all pro-nuclear. These are all the people who told you it's like getting on an airplane. <coughs> like James Hansen in that video clip I showed you earlier from two years ago. <coughs> These are... These are the mentally ill people. These are the ones that should have their houses burnt down. These are the ones we should kill. It's okay for me to say it if they're saying it about me, isn't it? I'll wait for the police to come and arrest me again, I guess. Come on, come get me again. I call for the debt of these people. Call for my debt. How dare me? How dare me try to defend myself for the 8 million species on the planet? I must be a horrible person. How dare me have another narrative? How dare me say something? Well, uranium stockholders in Canada are no different. They're mass murderers like all these people. Some of them are innocent mass murderers don't know the difference. The majority of them don't. The majority of them are disgusting maggots that have uranium stocks in Canada. Hang on, let me show you something. And how can you not have stocks in Canada? We'll go over to the laptop. Here's the Globe and Mail. Let me get rid of that other thing I got in the way there. Yoink. 
Okay, that didn't work out very good for me that time, Dana. It's all right. Nobody knows where I'm to. Do what you want. Hang on a second. Think uranium is bom bottomed? Uh, these things are it's not supposed to be that big. Uh -huh. I'll get it. Damn it. I'll get it. Hang on. Well, that's what I mean. You know, it's complicated software, and the things I do, I can barely do. Global Mail, think uranium is bottom? This stock may be for you. These are the same people who just came out and vilified me, yeah? These are the same people who accused me of death threats when I'm charged with criminal harassment and nuclear pukes. And the reason they done it was because they're pumping uranium stocks. In China, can-do energy sees promising future. Forget about Fukushima. Uranium miners, miners soar as Japan moves to restart nuclear reactor. Instead of saying... Hey, you haven't even stopped the chain reaction in Fukushima. No, no, they come out and propagate out uranium stocks. So uranium stocks tied to buy uranium, Globe and Mail. <coughs> Hi, Zoe. The best way to play it, keys are on the table, Raj. You're going to go, you're going to take your boat out of the water? Yeah. Right on, buddy. You go ahead and do your thing. Uh, time to buy uranium, the best way to play it. This is the, the Canadian biggest media in Canada selling uranium stocks to Canadians. Why they demonize me and vilify me and turn the industry, uh, turn people against me. For doing 260 days on the coastline, 15,000 miles shown an extinction event because of Fukushima. No turnaround in sight for this uranium miner. No, because you're never going to mention Japan outside of it's like a banana potato chip or walking in the sunshine. Fishing boats can find it here, but not radiation, right? A fishing pallet, they send it back as they end the tsunami debris cleanup. Think about that. We can't afford a Geiger counter, but millions and millions and millions for the tsunami debris cleanup. And don't forget to put some gas in it. There's not much in it. No, I know. Yeah. yeah, okay, buddy. No, just so you don't get breakdown down on the side of the road somewhere. 2025 will do your rocks. Just lots. See, bud? SNC can do poised to be world player. Kando is the Canadian Uranium Mining Consortium that sells stocks, and they sell stocks to Globe and Mail. Here's your biggest media in your country, not going to tell you anything. No, 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 you got to buy stocks. No, don't worry about Fukushima. These are all after Fukushima, all these headlines. Why uranium stocks are jumping today and what it means for long term. Nuclear watchdog recommends distributing of iodine pills to those living near reactors. Just a couple more. Uranium monitors needed some good news. Scientists baffled by sea star glow. But don't worry about it. Here's your three-year chart for uranium stocks. This junior uranium explorer is generating buy singles. Tuesday analyst upgrades and downgrades. Look at the comment section. The stocks I'm looking at in uranium is Baywater Uranium Corps. You know, that's the globe and mail seeding the comment section. Growling sinks the nuclear future. Uranium stocks glow after Japan. Now, how disgusting is that headline? How demented is that headline? How twisted and out of touch with reality are these people? You, you need to really think about that. You really need to consider the things I'm showing you and the things I'm talking about. Oh, we need to, we need to genetically alter babies. Think about this headline. Rainmaking was linked to killer floods. This is UK where... The, the Royal Air Force in UK caused 35 deaths in 1952 by cloud seeding. 90 million tons of water swept down the valley in the Linden Mount and destroyed whole buildings, streets, bridges, communities. And 35 deaths was caused by the government. But yet here they are today saying that doesn't exist, that you can't make rain. But yet here's, there's over 30 ski resorts 130 ski resorts in America that have a license to seed the clouds with planes, not spraying now from the ground, but with planes to create snow for skiers. 130 ski resorts have permits to go up and cloud seed, but it doesn't exist. Just like Fukushima, it doesn't exist. Scientists warn geo and engineering can kill billions of people. Eco-friendly light bulbs may put health at risk. Think about that. Not may, but they will. They they can't come out and say will because they'll they'll get sued and attacked. So they just they can come out and say may. 
even though the signs show that it does. Right? The industry is so powerful, it'll just attack you to get rid of you. Tree huggers and eco fascists joins hand. Global government or the world will end. They have no concept of what they're calling for. They eviscerate the sovereignty of all countries and they put some dictator in charge of every country in order to get their hands on the resources, in order to get their hands on the minerals, on the water, on the monetary, on the banks, on the electrical power, on the energy. These are maniacal, this is a death cult. UT professor calls for killing 90% of the world's population with Ebola. And that was 2006. What happened this year was Ebola showed up and all the media going to kill everybody, right? But, but these people are okay. They're fine. Somebody goes out on the ocean, like myself. Let me show you some of that. Here's a headline. Smithsonian pirated National Geographic's. How this, now, now, the scientists come out and said 18 species of sea stars were, were dying. But they, they all died. All uh, 78 species of them. I'll explain that to you in a few seconds. So far, urchins die off have been observed, the bottom paragraph, and documented at four sites along 200 miles and a fifth site off Baja, California. And because of that, they declared a mass mortality. Now, they don't blame Fukushima. They don't mention that. They just sea star wasting disease. There's no such thing as a sea star wasting disease. They got no pictures of the viruses, no pictures of a pathogen. Like Ebola, before they even knew what it was, they had pictures of it, and they said, we don't know what it is, but this is what, this is what it looks like. And then he identified it. Sea star wasting disease, just a fabrication of uh, pseudoscience, right? Well, we went out and done 15,000 miles of the coastline, 260 days, and we done it on this boat here. 260 days, 15,000 miles. We took our time and meandered through the entire coastline. Each arrow is a representation of spots and territory and coastline. In other words, we covered the entire coastline. Bar jack shit. And what you see there is not everything we covered. It's just meant to be a representation to let you know that we went through that whole area. But we actually covered every fjord and inlet almost that we can reach. 15,000 miles, 260 days. That's why they arrested me. Because I showed that the species you see there like that and like that, which was emblematic of the entire coastline of Canada, is missing. We proved those pictures are from the same spot. Everything is now gone because of Fukushima. And we know that, look, you know, Chernobyl was hell on earth. 2006, Vidal said, the third sentence from the top, it only lasted 10 days, but for 10 days it spewed equivalent to 400 Hiroshima bombs. Japan reactors didn't stop, right? So they told you it looked like that for number four, but it looks like that, right? It really looks like that, but they told you it looked like that on the inside. But how could it when it looks like that? Right? The building's de detonated, but it actually looks like that. The building's detonated, all of them. Detonated, detonated, and then we're down to now. Okay, let me keep going. The models from the radioactive fallout by Canadian, right? That was Health Canada. And they, they, the evidence of sharp features in the Fukushima plume. Sharp features, too. And here's what that map looked like. Rather, they went along the coastline of British Columbia in an airplane every 15 minutes. They took samples and they showed a plume. France showed modeling from the Fukushima from just a couple of days releases from a single reactor. NOAA showed modelings for just a couple of days releases from just a couple of reactors. I'll move it ahead. Up to 40 days and then it stopped. But did the radiation disappear at 40 days? No. We have other institutions showed the modeling coming out of Japan. How it comes over to North America. It's heading towards North America. Boom! It's on North America. Boom! It's on the east side of North America. Boom! It's over in France. It's over in Norway. It's over in UK. It's it, the entire friggin' planet. That's how the jet streams work. It only takes a few days. These modelings were done by uh, many institutions used this particular model. This one is Norwegian Institute for uh, Air Research, I think, or it's other that or, or Japan's models. And this is only a couple of elements for a couple of days from a single reactor. Fukushima, 
was a 9.0 earthquake. It was a 9.0 earthquake and a tsunami. It ran through the whole country, not just a nuclear power plant. Those buildings detonated. They had meltdowns. This is you and a 100% meltdown, melt through, melt out. It's a thousand times worse than Chernobyl. This is Unit 2. This is a thousand times worse than Chernobyl. This is many times that. This is completely destroyed on the inside. Everything is gone. But Unit 3, I don't need to explain that to you, do I? That's all gone, right? The spent fuel pools, the reactors were up high in the buildings. Once you destroy any part of it, everything else destroyed itself. By default. That's Unit 3. That's 100% meltdown, melt through, melt out. This was 2 million times worse than any other reactor on the planet. That's why I say uranium stockholders are killing everything on this planet or mass murders. That's Unit 4. They gutted it all down, ripped everything off it. Then they showed pictures of that. These are all official pictures that look like that. They look like that. But it looked like that. They all melted down. None of the reactors along the coastline were able to get any kind of power, external power, and after an hour and a half, they melt down anyway. But look at that. That's the whole coastline. Hundreds and hundreds of miles of the coastline looks like that. We know radiation is throughout the country because they collected it throughout the entire country. We know it's coming over here because the corrosive currents are well understood. They heat up the coastline in North America. Look at it. That's how that works. It travels at 5 miles an hour, 24 hours a day, and then 45 days later, that Pacific Ocean looks like that. Even though that model is 6 years, but it's based upon two isotopes, short-lived isotopes. Not the 2000 that we know about, not the tens of thousands that are, are classified. They didn't include all those reactors I showed you. They only include a couple of days' releases. And so everything I'm talking about, everything I'm showing you, everything that we got here is vital. Not just in the Pacific Norway. Rain out of hot particles. It only takes one hot particle to give you a cancer. It takes one hot particle to give you a cancer. And the stockholders are, are pumping out uranium stocks left, right, and center. Uranium stocks glow. I mean, this is the Global Mail. These are the people who came out originally. They broke the story originally on me and then demonized me and vilified me as uttering death threats. I just showed you a whole bunch of people uttering death threats. That's okay, Dana. Dear academics, they're on our side. You're showing the truth, Dana, so you shouldn't exist. You're a maniacal sack of shit, Dana. Can Japan recapture a cool? The government spent $400 million to teach people not to talk about radiation or illnesses or deformities in the babies or cancers or deaths or heart attacks or strokes or diabetes or Alzheimer's or dementia or respiratory or lung or liver issues associated with the radioactive fallout throughout Japan. So we need a million people to march on the Globe and Mail. We need everyone to get down there and yell at them all day, every day, till they disappear off this planet. We need the police to prosecute them, to arrest them, to convict them for a propaganda machine, for being a 100% durable Hitler-type propaganda machine of mass murders. Uranium shareholders, if your loved one's got uranium share, if your mommy and daddy got shares in uranium stocks, they are mass murderers. Do you get it? Did you make it this far? Well, we only got... The show ends at 11.30 this morning. I'm not going a whole hour today. I'm too messed up from trying to get the stream up and running. I had to start a new stream. Oh, Dana, you're just a cookie conspiracy theorist. Uranium is harmless. Okay. All right. Okay. Can, can I defend that, that statement you just made? <laughs> Don't run away. Hang on. I'm coming. I got something for you. I got something for you. I got something for you. That's not supposed to be there. Hang on, Dana. Get your act together. You don't have to be a genius to work this stuff. Or do you? Well, I got too much on my computer. I got to clean all this off today, I guess, because... I'm never, I'm never going to find what I'm looking for. It can't be done, right? Like, that's what your government is. It's a handful of corporations. That's what your media is. 
It's the silence of, of us. This is what your politician is. It's a bloodthirsty, in, insane, demented, mer, you know, misery machine, I guess is the best way to put it. You went in Iraq and Afghanistan, and what did you do? Millions of refugees, millions dead, millions in concentration camps like this, five million orphans just in Afghanistan, millions of widows, millions missing to get 10,000 Taliban. Uh, you know, that's enough, right? Bear with me while I try to get my act together here. I'm looking for Dr. Raymond Gilmetti. He can only hide for so long. Dr. Raymond Gilmetti from Loveless. We're going to have to take up the whole screen to do this couple of clips. I'll move it back in a second. Dr. Raymond Gilmetti killed beagle dogs and beagle puppies for 35 years at Loveless Respiratory Research. What a nice name, eh? Loveless. They spell it different, but it's still Loveless, isn't it? Because they kill beagle dogs and beagle puppies. Here, this one here, they were using curium. There's more curium isotopes. I'll fix that for you. There's more curium isotopes created as a major byproduct of irradiated nuclear fuel rods. So when it went through a chain reaction, cesium and iodine is not as big as producer. That's an outrageous lie. See, curium is. Curium is a fissionable product like uranium is and like plutonium is. Do you get it what they're doing to you now? The uranium shareholders are mass murderers. And they killed dogs for fun. And they killed tens of thousands of dogs just at that one spot. Toxicity of inhaled plutonium dioxide in beagle dogs. 96. 144 beagle dogs. And what happened? Tumors of the lung skeleton. Look at the third sentences. And liver occurred beginning in about three years. Three years! Bone tumors found in 93 dogs were the most common cause of death. Lung tumors in 46 dogs were the second most common cause of death. Liver tumors found in 20 dogs were, but were the cause of death in only two of the dogs. But they still had the tumors. They still had the liver tumors. And if the other ones didn't get them, that would have got them. Tumors in these three organs often occurred in the same animal. <coughs> but they gave them a monodispersal, just a tiny, tiny size. Inhaled one of two sizes of aerosols of 238 plutonium from a chain reaction. Plutonium is man-made. Plutonium is man-made. Let me fix this up for everybody. Get this back. Well, I hope people are doing that today. I hope people are at least doing that much. Taking pictures. And we know the error. And so, it was a tough stream today for everybody. Anybody that made it here, thank you for trying. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for doing the things you do. Thank you for having a conscience. And, and thank everybody that has a moral compass and that supported me throughout all these expeditions, supported me throughout these hard times supported me endlessly and I have an amazing amount of support and I probably don't I couldn't if I wanted to express how grateful I have been for the support that we 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 got what we got because we all banded together I know I went out on the ocean I get that part but somebody had to ultimately get out there but how could anybody do it without the support of everybody and that we had no concept that the entire Pacific coastline was going to be stripped of 5,600 species. Right? We had no concept of that. What have I got done to you here? Hang on, I'll fix that. I'll make that a bit better. That's me smurfing around with everything. Can't take me anywhere. Dana's a crazy. There you go. I can see Mickey. Kate! Uh, I'm thirst. Albert! Sends hugs. I scream, you scream. You bet, folks. Uh, yeah, that's right, Kay. We got to do something. We got to educate the ones that are, are mass murderers, right? You know, like all those headlines I showed you earlier. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow, Lanthers. And so we're going to come in and say good day to everybody. It's a short stream today. That's okay, too. 
We'll put that old song I had yesterday was a bit low. I'll put that back up for something to do. For background music. Why not, right? And it's just the way it is. And so that's a really bad, 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 bad picture in the background. And I got no way to know how to fix that. I can try. Dana can try. That's all I can do. So that shouldn't exist. Hang on. That shouldn't exist. Well, let's just play the song in the background. It doesn't matter. Because I can't seem to get this to work here this morning. And so hugs for everybody. I'll come over and say goodnight to everybody. Good day to everybody. Thank you for showing up, everyone. My apologies for all the trouble. I've done everything I could. There's nothing I didn't try. And I worked like a dog to get back online here this morning. We had the old stream that I had set up for this morning disappeared on me as we went live. And I know what I'm doing at this stage, so it's not a game. Take care, Mickey. I'm Thirst. Kate. And thank you, Kate, again this morning. At the, Kate's got the Fukushima Hounds. The link will show up here in a little tiny bit. I'll put it below. I'll pop this up at YouTube, too, for everybody. Yeah. Hi, Doke. I'm Thirst. Nashville. Old people got everything to worry about. Because they're going to have to liquidate their assets and they can't pass it on to their loved ones. Right? That's what this does. There's a whole industry around liquidating cancer victims' assets. Extend the event to an hour and a half from now on? I'll think about that, absolutely. Yeah, it's not very long this morning because we're, we couldn't get it streaming, right? And so that's okay. We got 36 minutes in. Hi, Divine. And uh, the globalist says their chat is not working. We got to refresh sometimes. Uh, Joe, we do got some problems going on. We know that the industry is attacking me constantly, has vic victimized me and vilified me throughout the media in North America. And Dana is right. Albert, zip free. I'm just coming down and it's just such a harsh nip killer. It's just such a hard stream this morning for me. Shani Ken, Candace is out there somewhere. And everybody else. Nashville voted his parents, or their parents died of cancer. Tyrion made it for the very end of it. That's okay. It's a, it was a weird stream this morning. We had to start a new stream to get up and stream. To have this conversation. They took down, my old stream made it disappear on me. Just as I went live, that disappeared. And I'm not on the computer, I'm on this one over here, and all I'm doing is clicking stream. I click stream and then it disappears at live stream. It's okay. Let's come back over and finish the show out. Thank you, everybody. As I heard a picture of Dana in the background, put something realistic there like the detonations. I'll figure this out by tomorrow. Blah. Who knows? Take care, folks. We'll see you tomorrow. Jan Brooks. And Jan could see me showing up on another stream. I forgot about that. She phoned me and said I was showing up on another stream. And when I refreshed the page to go look for it, the stream that we had set up for this morning was disappeared. <laughs> it's just, who knows. I'll work it out. I'll dig down that road. I do believe I got a lawyer. I do believe I got a lawyer. It sounded good yesterday. I phoned two... Uh, Right away yesterday after I got off the show, neither one of them would take the case. And then the third one late yesterday afternoon, uh, I faxed everything down to him. And so I'm waiting to hear back from him sometime today. Because if I don't hear back from him, I'll call him. Because gotta, i got to have a lawyer. I can't keep doing what I'm doing. They're killing me. I can't afford to keep doing what they're doing to me. I guess that's the idea. Okay, hugs for everybody. Anybody wants to donate, you can donate at the nuclearproctologist.org. It's a very secured setup with credit cards, and you can donate at PayPal. Type in Dana Durnford at Hotmail.com. That's how you work on PayPal. Type in my email address. And hugs for everybody. We'll see everybody tomorrow. Take care, folks.